hello guys i am back with another video on how to do some crafting with my cricut machine so this is an image that i found and purchased off of an etsy shop i love 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 it but as you can see placing it on wasn't quite perfect but that's okay because this is for me for my enjoyment so i've been watching these videos on how to bling out a mug of course i use my cricut machine to cut the image and i ordered these rhinestones from amazon they are so pretty and so i want to use them to bling out her mask and her scarf and it's my intention to kind of follow the pattern here so it can look like this um cheetah print or I'm not sure but these are the things that I saw that I would need I need this e6000 glue and I got this from Michaels I believe um, and of course the rhinestones so we're gonna see guys so <laughs> fingers crossed okay so yes I'm using a q-tip to apply this glue why because I saw somebody else do it but guys let me tell you okay just keep watching so now i'm actually trying to pick up these little rhinestones with this tool that came with the rhinestone kit and the more i use this little grabber tool thing i'm convinced that this is not what i'm supposed to be using so for you guys who may have done something like this before Please comment below and let me know what I need to use the correct type of tool because this is not working. Because I've seen the ladies who just kind of grab it. It looks like the tool that they use are just grabbing the rhinestones and putting it on there. But these things, y'all, pray for me. Pray for me. go on it right I tell you but guys I'm going to keep pressing forward um, like I said it's my intentions to kind of go around the black so it looks kind of like this print so we'll see because the stones are very small but the area is also small so um, yeah so we're gonna kind of pick up the pace and I'll be back stones are being the devil look look I just wanted to pick them up and sprinkle them on at this point but like I said this is something that I saw and I really really wanted to try it so it's fun it, it don't get me wrong it's really fun but the rhinestones needs a laying on of hands and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep with the pattern because 
I'm not sure. I think I'm going to just fill in the whole area. Um, and look at this. This this D6000 is a lie. It The tube, the outing part is to y'all. Help me figure this out. Comment below of what I need to do, what I should do to make this an easier process. But it's fun, y'all. It is really fun. Two hours later. Yes, not really two hours, but look at it. It's coming out pretty good for a beginner, right? 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 Why? So I have gone in and done her scarf. I need to clean up around certain parts of it where the glue got a little out of hand. But for my very first time trying it, I really like it and I think all I need to do is practice a little bit more but let's talk about these tools okay so I don't think this is right I don't I don't think this is what I'm supposed to use um yeah so before I do it again I actually end up using this little pencil that came with it to kind of spread the glue in different places because the q-tip was too round and bulky um, this E6000 is what you need, but I wish it had a smaller, um, little outing or part for it to come out of because that was a little too wide, too large of an opening for this particular project. But maybe if I had the right things, it may have worked. These are the rhinestones that I ordered this pack has different colors it did come with two other packs as well um the these that look clear um have more of a silver and then these that are more of a I guess fluorescent type but all of these came with it i'm definitely going to try it again and i know the next time it will come out even better because I really did enjoy this project and I want to get much, much better at it. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.